What's up folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're checking out Blue Lock. This is gonna be a, a twofer, episode 20 and 21. Uh, last week, work got too crazy, so I wasn't, I wasn't able to, to upload. But uh, this time, uh, the good news is, uh, we get a twofer. So last time we left it, um, Isagi had just challenged Itoshiren's team, so the mission to get back Bachida is officially on. I'm excited for this one, can't wait to see this match. It's about to be super fire. We got Chigiri on the squad. We got, you know, King Baru, Nagi. We got a bunch of killers on our squad. We're ready for this. So I'm expecting fireworks out of this match. Um, so, you know, without any further ado, man, let's dive in. Let's check it out. I think this episode, these two couple episodes are going to be, you know, uh, you know, a lot of fun. So let's dive in. Let's get it. Oh, this nervous guy. Forgot about him. And the fabulous dude. Essentially, I'm, I'm interested to see how this team is going to work together because that teamwork wasn't good last time because, you know. Itoshiren, you know, kind of plays on his own. But with Bachiro, there may be the chemistry would get better. Ah! Glamdu loves Shigiri's hair, of course he does. This guy's a bun in over hair, hilarious. Oh, Chigiri's not having any of it. The glam fam. <laughs> Chigiri can beat him for speed, though. Okay, so this guy hates his first name. Yeah, they're weird, but they're good at soccer. What? That's Ariyukon's problem. I wonder if this is the first 4v4 match. I'm guessing it is. Yeah, this guy keeps acting like he's all nervous and scared or whatever. He's in blue lag. You're one of the top people too. You keep acting like you're like a regular Joe. I think his name is Aoshi or whatever. He doesn't act like what he actually is. Like he's one of the top people in Blue Lock. Oh, we talking Itoshi then? Ooh, let's go. Nagi versus Ren. Oh, that means Isagi versus Bachira. It had to be, of course. Formations are set. Let's go. Okay, Bachira with the step overs. He knows your moves, son. Mm. So, he's not just man marking you, he's almost like playing a zone. Ooh. Let's go, Baru. 
Somebody's open if he's double. Oh, Isagi anticipated that. An anti combo. I like a lot of the, the tactical mind games that the guys are playing while they're. But that guys are going through their head while they're playing. Ooh. Nice. Laying it off for the Red Panther. Yo, you're not going to be able to keep up with Chigiri. Too easy for the speedster. Yo, this is this link up plays the shit. A super link up play. Let's go. This is the first time I feel like our team has taken the lead. This is the first time our team has been up, I feel like. Damn, finally. We're not chasing the game the entire time. Yeah, of course not. This is it's not gonna be this easy. I mean, of course they're gonna adjust to our super link up play. Once they've seen it once. Ooh. The low back heel flip. Damn, he beat him with his reach. <laughs> this guy's strong as hell. Yeah, but someone's flashing open and you can't double people. Because that leaves someone open. I think it's gonna shoot though. Damn. Ren is still a step ahead of Isagi. That's the problem. Ren is like a more advanced version of Isagi. That's the that's the biggest problem we have right now. Well, that's progress. Damn. Devouring Ren? Oof. The key to this match is Isagi finding a way to neutralize Itoshi. It's all good, it's just 1 1. フィールドの未来を数手先まで予見して、こっちの思考回路を停止させて誘い込む。多分それがリンの基本スペックなんだと思う。いや、俺の OS 
His, his OS is more advanced. We need to upgrade. Yep, it's on, it's on you. I think Rain's gonna react. Damn. Damn. Damn, we're in trouble right now. What is this? That's backspin on it. What is he doing? Oh, the tall dude? Yep. He'd be the only person to target with with that type of pass. Damn, Nagi got there too? This is a chess match between... Honestly, for real, for real. Between Isagi and Ren. The line on the pass. We gotta go. So he's gonna go up for it. Let's try to go. Oh, he's gonna get it early. Yup. Oh no. They're starting to link up because of Bachida. I was thinking about that. I was like, I bet you Bachida improves their chemistry. And that's exactly what's happening. Ah, dude's bleeding. That was he hit that with his face. This is a problem now. Oh, what is Nagi about to do? Nagi evolution coming up. ボクを知って。俺は変わった。ごめんだよ。お前と一緒にいない俺を。なぎ。くらいつく。お前を置いて変わっていく俺を。くらいつぶしてやろうぜ。イサギと一緒に戦う俺を。うん。今はどうか許
この快感を知らなかった俺にはもう戻れない<笑>やられたねリンちゃんでもナギスはジーニアスフォーリアLet's go. Yo, this has not disappointed so far, man. That first match was awesome. That was crazy. Not the first match, but you know, the, the, first, the first part of that match. That was amazing. Additional time. Nagi don't do nothing but sleep when he's not playing soccer. <laughs> He's second? <laughs> Nagi's just good at everything naturally. Yo, amazing episode. Yo, Kim, okay, before we jump into episode 21, quick thoughts in episode 20, that was amazing. Man, that was、uh, probably like one of the, my favorite episodes so far. Like, it, it's really the thing I love about Blue Lock is that it's not just soccer, it's like the chess match. You know, it's the, the game within the game. Like, you're seeing Isagi trying to process information, trying to find out what's the best, you know, play, what's the best link up play they can do, right? They showed like the, the super link up play at the beginning with Baru and Uh, with Baru and Isagi kind of devouring each other with the,、uh, with the anti combo. Then Isagi and Nagi, they're always on the same page. They got that chemistry.、Uh, you know, they're, they're, they share the same vision. So they link up, and then Nagi with his incredible control skills, laying off a pass to Chigiri and Chigiri, you know, being the, beating Ren, and I think it was Ayoshi with his speed and getting that score. That was amazing, but of course, the problem that the team has is that Rin is pretty much just a souped up version of Isagi. He has the same、uh, you know, eye ability, the same IQ, the way he sees the game, he reads everyone's movements. But on top of that, he has you know, his physical abilities surpass Isagi, so he's always one step ahead. So not only is he able to control the field like Isagi, but he also has the physical abilities. To, 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 to do what Isagi can do, which is the you know, a major problem. Now, when we first、uh, played this team, they were really just three individuals you know, Glam Dude, Muscle Bound, Nervous Guy, and, and Itoshi. And they were really playing as a team. But now that you add Bachira into the mix, now they're really playing as a unit. You know, I, that was the thing I was afraid of in terms of playing them is that with Bachira on the, on the team, he's really going to be the glue that brings them together and makes them perform as a unit and, and kind of really、uh, elevate them as a team by bringing some chemistry, some chemical reactions to their side. And that's exactly what's happening. So not only do we have Rin to worry about, Bachira is making them stronger. So the only way to really, you know, Beat them again is to evolve, and we saw Nagi just kind of do that right now, just you know, use his genius to evolve. He did this sick, fake, fake shot control, followed by a real shot that was sick. So, I think that's what's gonna have to happen. Guys, gonna have to evolve, push their limits to beat this team. And I'm, I'm sure you know, we haven't seen everything that Ren has to offer. I'm sure he's gonna level up too. He's like, he's gonna have to level up. And、uh, Nagi, Nagi, the genius, he's gonna have to, you know. Show us something, and the good thing is, like, Rin, Rin doesn't know Nagi like Isagi does. So, the limitation is that Rin might be able to read movements and predict things that are within the realm of expectation. But Nagi is that one player that's like an X Factor where he can evolve so quickly, and he's such a genius that he can do things that you can't really predict and expect. And I feel like Isagi, having been with Nagi for so long now. Kind of knows that and Ren doesn't, and that might be the difference too moving forward. So, with all that said, man, let's jump into episode 21. This string of episodes, I feel like, until the like we're almost to the end of the season, so I feel like these next string of episodes is going to be straight fire. It's going to be like the climax of the season, and so far,、uh, this match hasn't disappointed. So, episode 21 coming up, let's dive in. Yeah, that was sick. A fake shot into the air. <laughs> Ego is never impressed. Andy Chan. Nagi, nice goal. I'm going to go to the 
Yeah, it's still tied. I love how these dudes be standing there like DBZ fighters. They got the aura like you're about to turn Super Saiyan. さあ、試合はここから。俺の空間認識能力と凪のトラップ。お互いの能力が完全に噛み合えば凛にも勝てると証明された。ヒフティヒフティに持ち込みさえすれば俺たちの武器は刺さるでもそれがどうした Okay. Ren talking big now. Let's see what you got, buddy. Mm. Why is this guy so strong for no reason? Tokimitsu. Oh. <laughs> Dude's oh, announcing moves now. Every real chest take down. Ren's like the puppet master right now. Nope. Nope. I think it's gonna be. I think he's expecting you to think that. Whoa! Who let? Oh. He's playing everybody, man. That's crazy. <laughs> he called you a NPC. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's like the なまはんかなプレイは全部読まれるね。いや、こんなのリンのイメージを超えるしかないんじゃ。ガラドゥサンアンエクスペクトダッシーオンリーウェイ。だめなら。ラジックリーユウッドネバー。キングアンズ、ア
He's, and he's stronger than Isagi, that's the problem. Oh, Baru! Let's go! Baru the king! <laughs> he just Baru just tackled Isagi. Exactly. Aha! Yeah, stealing a ball from a teammate is not something you would anticipate. Exactly, that's why it worked. He's playing the villain. Doesn't make sense, but it, it works against Rin. Because it doesn't make sense. <laughs> That's the setup we need, the villain. King of the Hills. King of the Hills. The secret to this game might be Baru. Yep. This is perfect. Baru might be the X Factor. So, you may not be a little bit of a little bit of a little Battles the bug in this field programming. He's the. Yep. He's the virus. Stealing the ball from your teammate, devouring their life, acting as a villain on the field. In a team game, that doesn't make sense. So that's what we need to do. Oh, they switched up. Isagi's still on Bashira. Oh, Chigiri's there now? But who's on Ren? Oh, they switched again. Interesting. おれのドリブルパーサス。ちぎりのスピードやられた。本音はバロ。伊崎は自分を餌にしてバロがボールを奪う道を作ったんだ。ダメ、ストップ。行け。そいつの逆を。どけ。絵が消える。ストップフェイント。逃がすか。うん。リンちゃん。ウェ
なんで二人とも俺の知らないところでサッカーすんの置いてかないでよ俺にとってお前らは怪物なのにお前らにとって俺はなんだ<笑>試されてたのは俺の方ボールアウトチームレッドスローインスタート no get, can get a score in yet. ごめん本当はお前にお,おい大丈夫かもしかして膝がいやただのスタミナ不足だ俺のことなんか気にすんな俺がリンとギリ互角に読み合えてるのは yeah, probably... でも running out of stamina の速さで走り続けるのは無理 exactly シギリだけじゃない俺も含めて全員スタミナの消耗が激しいこの変化をキャッチした方がこの終盤戦を制す戻すよリンクまた俺なんだこの攻撃やばいぞ二人に押し上げられてる今までにないパターンシギリのプレスとこっちの判断の前にボールを動かしてるこの中央突破を作り出してんのはただ一人この終盤でも運動量を落とさずリンのパスに反応して動き続けてるあのフィジカルモンスターのノーリミットのスタミナだ、oh, yeah. He's that unlimited stamina too with all those muscles? あ、来たゴール前抜けるパスうわさせるかえいちょま Damn. 後方からのタックルおよび悪質なスライディングによりバロー翔栄ちぎりひょうま2名 Damn, we both got yellow cards? I haven't seen yellow cards in a minute Then a good position though この距離やばいねこれ全然リンの射程じゃん直接狙ってくるかそれともパスかリンにとってはその2択俺にとってはリンにとってはその2択俺にとっては打たれたら壁パスなら数的不利な方にプレスの2択でもジャンプしたらプレスが遅れる蹴った瞬間に見極めて反応する直接かパスかどっちだ<笑>俺の頭の上ドンピに落ちる縦回転おおデンやられた俺が反応する隙すらも与えない頭上一線ピンポイントの高速フリーキックパスかシュートで迷ったんだろうずれた分析だな俺のゴール一択が答えだそっかリンも潔も自分のゴールのために自分のエゴを貫いてサッカーしてるだったら俺は何のためにサッカーをしてる Yo, if Bashiro is about to level up, I think we're done here. We're already down 4-3. Damn. ブルーロックアディショナルタイムこれは誰と組むか慎重に考えるべきですね僕にはない武器を持っている人を探すのがクレバーな選択です使える人間使える人間,える人間,る人間,る人間おめっちゃ足早くてめっちゃバカの人だザンテツフガルバーヘンザンテツ君もう組む人は決まってるんですかまあとりあえずナギとレオを待ってるところだこの人ならありかも。ないがね、おるぎ。その二人はもう頑張りちゃったのでは。そういうロジックもあるな。まったく。ゼロベースでリスケだぜ。想定してなかったでしょ、絶対。でも、じゃあ僕と組みませんか。そのコミットに、どんなメソッドが。メリットですかそれだ。僕なら君を誰よりもうまく使える。<笑>いけザンテツくん自分失敗とかあんまりしないんだバカがバレないっすかっこいいいいだろう昨日の友は今日の友っていうからな昨日の敵はです本当にバカなんだこの人であと一人は誰にするもう一人は話の通じる人間にしよっとサンカーはシュリミックス。<笑> All right, another, another great episode.、Um, main thing about this episode was 
uh, in order for the team to beat Ren, they're going to have to be unpredictable. And that's exactly what King Baru is. Like we talked about, you know, while watching the episode, is King Baru does things that as a teammate just don't, does, you know, they just don't make sense. And no one ever actually predicted, you know, a teammate would try to steal the ball from his own teammate or would try to use his teammates' play to only set up himself selfishly and stuff like that. So those are things that a rational mind wouldn't predict. And um, because of that, as such, Ren can't read Baru. He can't control him because Baru's doing crazy stuff. He's out here being, you know, wild and out, just doing crazy stuff that don't even make sense. But that works for our team, but Ren can't, Ren can't read it. So that's exactly why, you know, uh, what, what we can use to beat him. On the other hand, the real interesting thing that happened there at the end after Rin scored and, and you know, we're down 4-3 is that Bachida now seems to be questioning his reasons for playing. Because before his whole deal was like, and I'm looking for a monster that I can play with, whatever. But now he's starting to question, you know, where he fits in. Because, you know, the monsters that, he, that he's looking for, they're not looking for him. So where does that leave him? So I'm, not, I'm interested to see how that's going to develop you know how he's going to evolve because uh, you know if he evolves into like another super selfish egoist type of bashir now you know that may not be good for us because we're already down four three and one more goal and we're out so uh you know if bachir goes to another evolution where it goes to another level that could be a real that could be a real problem for us but yeah man great episodes two episodes of fire um you know can't wait for the next one Thank you guys for checking uh, these, you know, these ones out with me as always. I'll catch you guys in the next one. So yeah, take it easy. Peace. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room.